Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson with FreedomOutpost.com and FreedomLover70.blogspot.com. I wanted to address Bridgegate. Uh, Governor Chris Christie apparently had some employees who closed a bridge for political vengeance. As the mainstream media is going absolutely wild. And I understand that they should. What Chris Christie's employees did were not only tyrannical, they were illegal. And one lady lost her life. Uh, it is my opinion that no matter whether you're a Republican or you're a Democrat, you should be held responsible for your actions. It is my personal opinion that the individuals that were fired should not just be fired, but they should be charged with involuntary manslaughter and if it links back to Governor Chris Christie then he himself should be charged as well. So according to Philly.com the investigator states Chris Christie could be impeached if he knew about the bridge lane closures. Let's see what else he had to say. He states Governor Chris Christie could be impeached if documents show he knew about the decision, said the chairman of the panel investigating the politically motivated closure of lanes on the George Washington Bridge. Quote, using the George Washington Bridge, a public resource to exact a political vendetta is a crime. That's what New Jersey Assemblyman John Wanowski, a Democrat, told NBC News on Saturday. Well, you know what, Assemblyman John Wanowski, I couldn't agree with you more. I really, truly couldn't. And that becomes very important. In a minute, I will discuss why. He also states, quote, having people use their official position to have a political game is a crime. So if those tie back to the governor in any way, it clearly becomes an impeachable offense absolutely right. It's hard to really accept the governor's statement that he knew nothing until the other morning, Wanowski added. These people travel with him. These people discuss things with him every single day. This is not an isolated unknown story. He knew there was an investigation. He knew people were looking at it and his senior staff was involved and he expects us to believe he knew nothing. I find that just implausible. Well, kudos to you, Assemblyman John Wanowski. Are we to be surprised that Governor Christie, who walks hand in hand with President Obama and is Republican in name only, has anything to do with the same things that President Obama did during the shutdown? And I will give you, some people will say, well, what he did during the shutdown wasn't the same. Yes, it was. He was using a public resource to exact a political vendetta. It is a crime. He also, President Obama, used his official position to have a political game as a crime. That's exactly what he did during the shutdown. He used his political position to punish the public because he wanted to get his way with Obamacare and he did. So while I completely agree with this Democratic Assemblyman that Chris Christie should be held accountable if he did have anything to do with this, I also agree 100 percent that you should also go after Obama for the same reason. He did it on a much larger scale and he hurt a lot more lives than just a traffic jam. Let me give you some examples. On October the 9th, 2013, Freedom Outpost reported brand shirt park rangers cut off Pegas Inn because they're following orders. Here is the individual park rangers right here, armed, and blocking off a private inn. This private inn receives no federal funding. So Obama, nor the park rangers, nor anyone else had the right to do that. But why did they do that? They did it for political gain. 
and they followed the orders of the tyrannical president who did the same thing as Chris Christie's employees by using a public resource to exact a political vendetta. He used their official position to have a political game is a crime. And for anyone who wants to state, this can be held accountable for President Obama as well. It is hard to really accept the governor statement that he knew nothing until the other morning. Well, we know President Obama knew about it because it was proven that he gave the direct orders. So, President Obama, in his political game, and using public resources to shut down to try to hurt the people, was clearly even more detrimental than what Chris Christie's employees did. Why did the mainstream media not say anything? Oh, they said something. They blamed it on Republicans because Republicans wouldn't go along with the disastrous Obamacare, which ironically has blown up in every one of their faces. So, we also have this says, quote, cheek tricks of the game. This was out of the Washington Times and it was for October the 3rd, 2013. The games politicians play. Barack Obama's having a lot of fun using the government shutdown to squeeze the public in imaginative ways. The point of the shutdown game is to see who can squeeze the hardest, make the most poised speech, and listen for the applause. It's a variation on the grade school ritual of you show me yours and I'll show you mine. President Obama is not bad at poker, but the man with all the chips always starts with the advantage and he gets all the aces. He has closed Washington down as tight as he dares, emphasizing the trivial and petty in making life as inconvenient as he can for the greatest number. It's all in a noble cause, of course. Access to most of the memorials is limited and often in curious ways. The Lincoln Memorial is easy to reach with the streets around it remaining open, but the Martin Luther King Memorial is made difficult to reach So we have President Obama who used the Park Service to close streets, to close memorials, to close homes, to shut down private businesses that did not get any federal funding right here. This article right here, October the 4th, 2013, Lake Mead property owners are forced out. Out of where? Out of their homes until the shutdown ends. The government shutdown is being felt close to home for some locals, they say, are being forced out of their private homes on Lake Mead because they sit on federal land. Joyce Spencer, 77 years old, and her husband Ralph is 80 years old. They've been spending most of their time in the family ice cream store since going home isn't an option. So President Obama did worse than closing down a bridge. He kicked people out of their homes and yet now the Democrats are screaming from the top of their lungs, let's get an investigation on this. Chris Christie is impeachable if he knew about this. And I agree with that. He is impeachable for that. Well, I say this. Obama's been impeachable. Where were you then? When did you care about the people then? So you have over here the list of unnecessarily shut down places by Obama to inflict public pain. This was by Breitbart. This article, October 5th, 2013. Okay, you have the World War II Memorial. 
Lincoln Memorial, Martin Luther King, treatment for children suffering from cancer, furloughed military chaplains not allowed to work for free, business stops in the Florida Keys, Obama backs out sports entertainment programs to overseas troops, Obama closes D-Day Memorial, Obama tries to close privately funded Mount Vernon, Obama closed over 100 privately managed parks that cost no money to run. Obama closes self-sustaining colonial farm and it hasn't supported since 1980. Obama tried to close state-run parks in Wisconsin. Obama closed the Vietnam Memorial. Obama closed privately owned hotel, police blocking the parking lot. Park Service Ranger, we've been told to make life as difficult for people as we can. Wow, I wonder what that Democratic Assemblyman has to say about that. Obama forces residents out of private homes. Akeda Park in Maine was shut down. Historic restaurant opening open during the last shutdown was forced to close. Obama shuts down a road that goes through Colorado Park. Residents plan protest of Cape Hatteras closing. Obama blocks people from looking at Mount Rushmore. Crucial USDA websites were taken down. St. Louis Gateway Arch was closed. Perk shut down bounces, roars from the Potomac. Potomac. Thompson Boat Center was closed in D.C. Obama closes military commissary. And for the, you, those of you who don't know what a commissary is, commissary is where the military gets their food. Arizona offers to fund Grand Canyon. Obama says drop dead. In other words, he closed the Grand Canyon as well. Amber Alert System was taken offline. Miramar Air Show canceled with one day notice. At Stark of Peak Season, shutdown closes. Peak of Otter Lodge. Federal prison guards not getting paid. Inmates are. Families that paid $2,000 per permit are not allowed to raft. Privately funded historic Ford's Theater closed. King Crab season threatened by government shutdown. Children might lose school lunches. Fed shut down major roadway and puts ch children's lives at risk. Road Brass Town Bald closed during peak season. Columbia Island and Washington Sailing Marina closed. IRS collections operational. Taxpayer Advocate Office closed. 1,100 square miles of Florida Ocean closed. Iwo Jima Memorial closed. Barricades erected. Police remove Vietnam War veterans at Memorial Wall. Shut down denies death benefits to families of fallen soldiers. Priests risk arrest for offering Sacramento to Catholic troops during the shutdown. President Obama denied mass to Catholics. Yellowstone tourists locked in hotel under armed guard thought they were under arrest. Man jogging in National Park was fined $100. Private restaurant owners defy government shutdown order and feds drop the hammer. NIH stops therapy dogs from visiting sick children. Well, I would have to say in my opinion that fits very well with the words of Assemblyman John Wanowski. Very, very well. Quote, using the George Washington Bridge, a public resource to exact a political vendetta is a crime. Having people use their official position to have a political game is a crime. So if those tie back to the governor, or why don't we exchange that for Obama? In any way, it clearly becomes an impeachable offense. It is hard to really accept that Obama, replacing it with Obama, statement that he knew nothing until the other morning. Of course, Obama didn't make that statement, did he? He admitted to shutting these things down. And where was the mainstream media? And where were the Democrats? They were cheering it on and making it a game. So while I do believe wholeheartedly